What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and right now, while well, the game is down for maintenance before we receive the next patch, the version 3.4.0 update, I thought I'd bring you guys the entire patch details and there are some great changes to check out coming with this patch. But before we get into it guys, I am giving away 2800 V-Bucks. To enter, simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Leave a like on the video and drop a comment down below. Winners are contacted via YouTube direct message, so stay tuned people. Okay, so on to the video and let's get into it. Now this is the patch which brings the guided missile by the way, which looks epic. If you haven't seen it, here is the trailer. How fun is that going to be? Also with this patch we get Sniper Shootout version 2. Play peekaboo in Sniper Shootout version 2. Hunting rifle and crossbow added. Magnum removed. So that's going to be fun as heck. I can't wait to play that. Uh, general changes. Next phase of crossplay improvements on console. You can now add, remove and manage epic friends from the main menu. You can now send, receive and respond to crossplay party invites. Party finder now includes epic friends on other platforms. Enable toggling of full screen mode with Alt plus Enter on PC and Option plus Enter on Mac. Increase the brightness and visibility of ammo boxes. Bug fixes. Fix the rare bug where players could be launched up into the air after colliding with the world in tight spaces. Fix the edit mode UI appearing over non-player built structures in some cases. Fixed other players not appearing to move smoothly while jumping. Fix some keys on the non-quirky keyboards becoming unbanned after restarting. Fix the video setting screen not updating properly after full screen mode is toggled. Weapons and items. Guided missile added. Stats. Damage to players. Epic version does 105. Legendary version does 110. Damage to environment 1000. Lifetime 18 seconds. Time between shots 3.13 seconds. Rocket speed 1300 units per second. Rocket health 100. So you're basically going to have 18 seconds in your shot to control this where you want to go. That is going to be incredible. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun to use. Take direct control of the missile after it's fired. Once you take on the missile's point of view, you are unable to move your character. Disconnect from the missile at any time in which the missile will continue its trajectory. Move slightly slower than a regular rocket but does the same damage. Epic and legendary rarity uses rocket ammo. Finding treasure chests and supply drops. Adjusted rarity colours and shotguns to more closely represent their effectiveness. Note, characteristics such as weapon damage drop changes are completely unchanged. Tactical shotguns are now common, uncommon and rare. Was uncommon, rare and epic. Pump shotguns are now uncommon, rare, was common, uncommon. The egg launcher has been added as a seasonal item that replaces the grenade launcher. Only a cosmetic change. Now I've actually covered this egg launcher a few times and I never thought to myself it could be a replacement for the grenade launcher just for Easter. And it actually makes sense, it really does when you think about it. So yes, the egg launcher is now in the game in replacement of the grenade launcher. Increased launch pad drop by 25%. Okay, we're going to move on to bug fixes. Issues with the booger bomb are fixed and this item is now re-enabled. Fix an issue which caused spike traps to trigger when a player stands on top of the wall the trap is attached to. Fix an issue which prevented players from entering ADS mode upon landing when they hold their aim button while jumping. Fix an issue which caused a hunting rifle to fire inaccurately when crouched or at a close range. The remote explosive detonator is now correctly removed from your inventory if another player destroys your placed explosives and you have no more in your inventory. Fix the bug where players could remain in sprint mode while using the remote explosive detonator but not play the detonator animation. Gameplay Limited time game mode sniper shootout Hunting rifle and crossbow added, revolver removed, down state is disabled, down players are now immediately eliminated. Damn! Legendary weapons can now be found in supply drops, epic weapons can be found in treasure chests, heavy ammo drop quantities, floor 6, chest 6, ammo box 12, supply drop 18 and llama 90. Damn. 
am. Rearrange the order in which pieces fall off, player built structures as they are damaged, increase the number of loot spawns on the warm up island. Remove 30 frames per second from the Xbox One and PS4. In version 3.4, we made significant GPU optimizations which improve visual quality, including resolution in 60 frames per second. And we now feel there is very little reason to play at 30 frames per second, developer comment. Bug fixes. Fixed open treasure chests sometimes appearing unopened when viewed from a far distance. That actually caught me out yesterday and I died because of it. My mate is looking for the seven chests in a single game and I spotted one at a distance. It wasn't open, got close to it, it was open and I got shot from behind. I was so mad. Fixed an issue which caused revived players to become stuck in an invalid state if a building piece was placed between the two players in the middle of the revive. Bullseyes will no longer appear after the challenge has been completed. Fixed an issue that caused other players' headgear to appear to float above their heads. Fixed a rare issue that caused players to lose their ability to control their character after jumping from the boss. Fixed an issue that caused bushes and other environmental objects to pop in and out of view at medium range. I mean, this confused me so often. If I'm sitting on a roof, I'm watching for people and I'm seeing bushes appear here and there, I'm getting so confused. I'm glad that has been sorted. And basically that is it guys. The rest is just performance issues. If you guys do want to check out, I'll link that actual post in the video description. But yeah guys, some great, great changes coming for sure. And I cannot wait to get my hands on that guided missile. Also, Sniper Shoot at version 2 should be a fun mode. Can't wait to get my hands on that. But guys, that is it for another patch notes a video if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really does help me out let me know what you think about some of these changes down below within that comment section thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people i will see you on that next one